Hey guys, welcome to another Gaging Gadgets Zoom tutorial video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to schedule a Zoom meeting. So doing this will not only allow you to schedule meetings, but one of the benefits is you can set up some of the security, such as a password, and even have it be recurring. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you need to do is simply go to zoom.us in your browser and check the description because I'll have all the links I discuss as well as a detailed write-up in case you get lost. Once you're here, log into your account and then go into the top right and select my account. Once my account loads, what we wanna do is go up to schedule a meeting in the top right. This will bring us to the my meeting section where we can start filling in information about our meeting, such as a topic. You can also have a description to provide more information to any of the participants. After that, we schedule the time and the date of the meeting and also the duration of the meeting, including the time zone. If this is going to be a regularly scheduled meeting, you want to have it recurring, go ahead and select recurring meeting. And then in here, we fill in when it will recur, either daily, weekly, monthly, or no fixed time. And then also when to repeat it. So if you're doing it weekly, it'll be every week or two weeks, something like that. And then which day of the week this will occur on. After that, we have some security features. So you can require registration with Zoom. And then also you can set a meeting password or disable the meeting password if that's not important to you. So if you want to have a password, make sure this is checked right here. And then you can configure your own password in here. Next in the options, we have the ability to turn on video, not only for the host, but you can allow the participants to enable video and share that. And then we can configure audio by default, both telephone and computer audio will be turned on. Next, we have some meeting options. You can allow people to join the meeting before the host join. You can mute the participants as they join. You can also enable waiting rooms, which is going to be default. You can limit the meeting to only authenticated users. And then you can also record the meeting automatically. Finally, at the end, we can set up an alternative host by just putting their email address in here. When we're done setting the configuration for our scheduled meeting at the bottom, just select save. Once you select save, it'll bring you to the information about the meeting. Now you can add it to your Google Calendar, your Outlook Calendar, or your Yahoo Calendar. If you wanna share an invite to the meeting, simply find invite link. You can either share this link by right-clicking on it and copying the link address and sharing that through email or instant messaging service. But if you wanna share an invite, go to the right of that and select copy invite. This will open up a screen that has not only the link, but it also has information about when it's going to be scheduled and the password for joining. So select copy, and then you can paste that in any email service or instant messaging service that you use. Finally, if you want to reschedule or edit this meeting, scroll to the bottom of the meeting and select edit this meeting. If you have a recurring meeting, you can select only to schedule the next recurrence of the meeting or all recurrences. And then in here, we can change the time, change the date, change any information about the meeting that we want to. Once you're done rescheduling or editing the meeting, just select save and that'll change it. In the future, if you want to see this meeting, all you need to do is go to my account on, from zoom.us and then select meetings and you'll be able to see the meeting. To quickly start the meeting, just select start right here. That'll open up Zoom and begin the meeting for you. One more quick thing before we end the video, if you have the Zoom client installed on your computer, you can quickly schedule a meeting by opening up the Zoom client and then selecting schedule right here. This will open up all the same information that you just saw in the browser, and you can select schedule at the bottom once you've configured the meeting the way you want it. All right, so that's how you schedule a Zoom meeting. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you'd like to see more Zoom tutorial videos, check the links in the description. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up, and please consider subscribing to my channel, Gaging Gadgets, for more gadget reviews and tech tutorials. Thank you so much for watching.